All right, guys, how you doing today? So today we're gonna be working on exhaust cutouts, but this ones are electric. So um, my boy ordered up these from. Uh, actually, I have no idea what the company name is. Oh, Raceland. So these are Raceland uh, exhaust cutouts. So these are electric and these work with remote. So the only thing is if you order two, because Audis have well his A6 has uh dual exhaust it comes with two boxes so you can um run each one and now if you plug it up you know i already did the test each remote only controls one one exhaust so what i did is i splice both of them at the pretty much the motors and now now they both work together which is perfect because you know he only has to have one key fob and he has a spare little box if the box got messed up or something. So this is the beginning video of the exhaust cutter on the A6. Now these are a lot cheaper than the ECS tuning ones. So there you go. I guess a little bonus. So first thing we're going to do with these is solder all this up. So it's not like this. Okay, now that I have all this soldered and shrink wrapped and then taped together. This is the side for the battery so pretty much all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a uh, you know it has a little screw in the corner i'm just gonna put another nut on it and then it'll get power there and it'll go all the way down to the actual exhaust um okay so now i have the car up on jack stand now i'm trying to see the best place to put it since this is so big um i'm trying to find you know perfectly where to put it and I think I already found the place. Right here where the old cats used to be. Or muffler or whatever. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put them right there. One facing this one, one facing that way. I'm gonna run the harness out through here. Follow the body line down there and into the battery. All right, so for testing purposes, I cut one of these pipes out. This was cut out. Now the problem was, you see how there's a curve in here. The one that came from uh, this other place is not a curve it's straight so what i end up doing is i cut it now all i did was i used one of these bits cut a hole in there now i'm gonna weld this right here like so the only problem is um my blade got messed up so i couldn't i had to stop there but i just gotta round out the edges so it can sit flush and then i can weld it together um I'm just going to need to hammer it up a little bit and then, you know, now it's going to have the shape that it needs to. Now for the other one, I'm not even going to cut it out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make the hole on it and weld it up, do the same to this piece. But I need to stop at Home Depot because this blades already messed All up. Alright, so for wiring, we have uh, a little seat clamp in here that fits perfectly snug in there. And then we have the wiring going through here into the box. As you can see, it's already on. We have a ground right here. Then we're going to run the other harness uh, from under this side all the way to the back of the car. Uh, let me just show you. This little harness we made yesterday, so it adapts into two exhaust cutouts. All right, so after wiring everything up, I put the box, well, right on top of here. So I can pick up the signal when you're inside the car. Um, I'm gonna put this all back together again. You know, once you take out this little rubber, it's a pain to put it under again. But okay, so power is here, ground is over there. Then the other little wire, I brought it through here, and I brought it under the liner here. Then I pulled down on this corner. As you can see, here's the wire. I brought it from here. I'm gonna run it here. And I took out the little screw here. Put the screw back there so I can have some movement. Now I'm just putting everything back inside of the car. The little cable's gonna run through here to the back to the exhaust. Okay, so I finished running the wiring underneath the car, and now it's in the middle. Once I weld everything up, I'll just connect it, zip tie it where it won't get burned by the exhaust, and almost done. Still need to go to Home Depot and buy the Thing so I can finish cutting. All right, after a little love and some cutting with a new bit, 
And the other little piece is gonna fit perfectly like so underneath. I just gotta go under there and weld it. Back here. Oh, you can even, you can tell from back here though. Oh, uh, the this idiot, the cutter is over here. Do it here. You gotta aim at the passenger side uh, wheel. Because for some reason, these little remotes only pick up when you're aiming at the thing. Uh, press B. Oh no, A. Again. There we go. No, it's glowing. All right, so I have my cousin in the driver's seat, as you can see. So it's cut out. It's open right there. Yeah. Okay. Let me close it. One second. Yeah, they're closed. Damn, this shit is so aggressive. 